Warning, this video contains spoilers for the game Papers, Please. If you have played this game before, go ahead and skip to this time frame to just get straight to the achievements. If this is your first time ever seeing this game, go ahead and watch the whole thing. The exclamation is going to be amazing, and I would highly recommend that you do get this on Steam. It's like $10, and it's definitely worth it. Also, why are you on this video anyway, you freaking bozo? How to get every single achievement in Papers, Please. Alright, let's get into it. Ah, the communist country of Artstotska. In this game, Paper Please, you play as an inspector for this dystopian country. I know, crazy, right? This is right around the time when there's massive war and chaos going through. So your goal as the inspector is to make sure that you don't let any crazy people in. And when I say crazy, I mean like people that are literally carrying bombs and trying to destroy the country. Such a fun game, right? <laughs> the thing that makes this game just such an incredible game is the storyline behind it. How an inspector like you just has a family and you're trying to keep the family safe. And in order to do that, you have to serve this communist country. And during the time that you're an inspector, you get to really question the morality of people. Figuring out if they're actually genuinely evil or if they've just got an expired passport. This game questions a lot about morality and it's just such a great game to just see how you respond to the morality or I guess how you respond to the situation of morality. So yeah, let's just dive straight into the achievements, shall we? Okay, before we even get into the achievements, I need y'all to do something really, really quickly for me, okay? And that is to play the entire gameplay at least once. <laughs> In order for you to get these achievements, you're really, really gonna need to play through this game at least once. That way you have an accurate timeline as to how exactly to do all these achievements. So go ahead and play through the game. It's a blast to play, especially if it's your first time ever playing it. Make sure to, you know, get through all 30 days, and it doesn't matter what ending you have, as long as you keep most of it, you're, you should be pretty good to go. Since the tokens are the easiest to start with, we're gonna go ahead and just start with those. They get slowly harder throughout the days, but these first couple ones are really, really easy to get. The first token that you're gonna be able to collect is on day four, the import token. The fifth entrant is gonna be a woman from Impor who says she's excited to see her son, point out the discrepancy on her pages, then grant her access anyway to receive the token. Really simple stuff, you're just gonna need to just accept her, but make sure to point out the discrepancy or she won't give you the token and you'll just get a citation for nothing. Going straight after that, on day five, you can actually go ahead and get the Integria token. On day eight, the eighth entrant is gonna be an Integria man with the proper papers. He's gonna say his wife is gonna be the next person to come on in and ask to allow her. Unfortunately, her papers are wrong, so what you're gonna need to do is point out the discrepancy on that, and then allow her anyway to receive the token. So, just make sure that you point out the discrepancy again, and then allow her, and you'll go ahead and get the Integria token. Hey, now we meet my favorite character in the entire game, Georgie Kastava. <laughs> On days four, six, and eight, he's gonna go ahead and come on in and uh, not give you an amazing passport, that's for sure. You're gonna wanna deny him if you don't wanna get a citation. Now on day 11, he's gonna have the proper papers. Go ahead and just accept them and you'll get this achievement, so. Straight after day 11, on day 12, you're gonna meet this Arkstoxian named Mesov Angovich. He's gonna give you four of his business cards to give to the engineers. You're just gonna need to distribute all those cards on days 12 through 15 before he returns on day 16. And that's it. Once he comes back on day 16, you'll earn the token and you'll get the Arkstoxian token. Ah, my favorite country, Republia. 
So on day 21, nine days after the last one, you're gonna get the sixth entrant who's gonna be called Danik Lorem. He's gonna ask to allow him entry without the valid papers and he's gonna offer his watch as collateral. During this task, it's gonna result in a citation, so don't worry too much about that. Most of these do result in a citation. And in order to get this uh, token, you're just gonna need to make sure to grant him entry and hold on to the watch. Do not sell his watch or you will not get this achievement. So make sure to keep his watch for the next couple days. Whenever he comes back, you gotta give him the watch and he'll give you a bribe and this will provide you the token of Republia. A lot of stuff, I know. <laughs> My personal favorite is the Kalesia token on day 25. The fifth entrant will give you a love note and obviously you want to decline him because he has nothing other than the love note and his passport. There's gonna be this depressed person that comes in to after him. I believe it's on the seventh guy. And on that same day, you're just gonna need to make sure to give him the love note and he will be all happy and it will make his day pretty much. He'll give you the Kalesian token and you will be on your way. The final token is the United Federation token. On day 29, a man will give you a photo of his daughter and ask you to confiscate Simon Wenz's passport, but allow him entry. On day 30, as Simon Wenz attempts to enter as a third entrant, you gotta do as instructed. So make sure to steal his passport, but let him through. Make sure not to detain him or arrest him. Doing this task will result in a citation, but pretty much all these tokens result in a citation except for a couple of them. When the man returns later that day, you need to make sure to give him Wen's passport and receive the token. And that's all the tokens! We have officially made it through the token section, and now we can finally go to the endings. Preferably the middle endings. So for anyone who doesn't actually know, there's a total of five achievements that are considered for the endings of this game. Two of them are in the middle, and then three of them are at the very, very end. So we're gonna start with the middle ones first, and also include the other achievement that is hidden from you guys right now, which is to get a class five apartment. Too Honest is gonna be the first ending we're gonna look at. It is located on day 12. On day 12, you're gonna be asked by an inspector if you've seen any kind of mysterious or strange things popping up, which you have. You have a Ezek file with you as we speak. He's gonna ask if you have anything to turn it over to him, and if you do turn it over to him, you will be arrested and filed for questioning. So in order to get this achievement, yeah, you're just gonna need to get arrested. It's not that hard, pretty easy achievement, and as long as you get to day 12, you might have already done this. The only other ending in the middle that gives you an achievement is the Hired Rifle achievement. On day 23, the Ezek Rebellion is going to go ahead and cause a bit of chaos, a bit of ruckus, for you to shoot and kill this guy in red. For this specific achievement, you're going to need to shoot that guy. It's going to get you arrested and end the game right then and there for you killing an innocent person, but you will get this achievement, you will get the ending, and scratch that one off the list. The last achievement you can get in the middle is called Worker's Best. The earliest you can get this achievement is on day 22. It's literally just saving up the money to buy the apartments. It's all about the money and how you save the money when you do this. I know this might seem a little heartless and cutthroat, but it doesn't matter because they're all fake people. If you do want to kill off all your family members except for one, it will save you a bunch of money. For what, anyone who doesn't actually know how to get money in this game, basically in order to get money, it's $5 for every person that you either decline or let through correctly. If it's wrong, you'll get a citation and no, no money. And if you get more than two citations, you start losing credits for every time you get a citation. I would say as long as you're getting about 8 to 10 people through every single day, you should be able to pay for this new apartment. In order to get money, again, take as many bribes as you can. That will definitely help your progress. Also, big thing, detaining people. For every two people you detain, you get five credits. You can end up with tons and tons of money just from detaining people as is. So definitely keep doing that. And that's your financial guide with lemon milk. We have made it to the end achievements. The easiest of the three is escaping to Oberstan since you can relatively just do this whenever. It is possible to get this achievement on days 29, 30, and 31. On day 29, Georgie Costava is going to come up to you and say, Hey, I know a guy, and uh, he'll help you escape to Oberstan. You're just going to need to confiscate Oberstan passports, as many as you have in your family, and make sure to escape with all of your family members in order to get this. Again, it's a lot easier if you have only one family member, so again, if you want to kill off your family, you can, and just have, like, your wife or your son or something, and that way you only have to confiscate two Oberstan passports. 
And that's basically it. You just have to escape to Oberstan and you get this achievement. The second to last achievement on this list is Glory to Artskotska. I believe that this is actually the first achievement that they intend you to get, but most of the time you don't get this ending straight off the bat. Listen, as long as you deny all the Ezek stuff that's been going around, you should be fine. There's a total of five Ezek things you're gonna need to avoid. I'm gonna get more into detail on what those Ezek things are on the next achievement because it's the opposite for the next one where you have to do all of them in order to get that achievement. But for this one, just ignore them. Just play the normal playthrough. Do not accept any of the Ezek stuff or you will get arrested at the end of the game. And unfortunately, you won't be able to get the achievement if you get arrested. Fun fact, it also unlocks the endless mode. So you'll be able to start playing endlessly. The final achievement on this list is Member of the Order. Yay! In order to get this achievement in the game, you're gonna need to at least complete four out of the five Ezek tasks that are given to you throughout this game to play. All right, these are the five tasks that you're given throughout the game that you have to do. You need to allow Mikhail Saratov to enter on day 11. That's Mikhail Saratov. You're gonna need to allow Stephanie Greer to enter on day 14. You're gonna need to allow Marie Escali to enter on day 17. You're gonna need to poison Khaled Istom on day 20. And finally, you're gonna need to confiscate Cordon Callow's passport, let him in, and give his passport to an Ezek agent on day 27. As long as you do four out of five of those achievements, you will be good and you will get this achievement after the wall blows up on day 30. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Every single achievement in papers, please. Hey, if you're still watching this video, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. If you guys want to see more of this kind of stuff in the future, feel free to let me know down in the comments below. I love doing these achievement videos. Just let me know what kind of games you would like me to play in the future. It would be fantastic to get some feedback from y'all. Make sure to stay hydrated out there and I'll see you guys in the next achievement video. Peace out guys. Lots of love and bye.